Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I am going to talk about fat burning for menopause, the biggest mistakes that you are making, you have been making, and this is only because this is something that is not talked about enough for women. This is one of the most frustrating things for women and here's why. Because so much research is done on men and it is not taken into account that women have different bodies different functions, everything else. So think about this. Modern medicine, super good when there's an emergency, right? Like you injure yourself, you get a bad cut or something, boom, taken care of. But for hormonal issues for women, something that's been going on for forever, right? Like thousands upon thousands of years for literally half of the population around the world and we can't figure this out. We can't figure out why women are having such a problem and what to do about it. Talk about frustrating, right? Like this is, it's ridiculous some of the recommendations that are made for women or that you're just told that mm, your body's changing so I guess things are gonna be crappy now. Better put up with it. What? Just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. Just because people have this doesn't mean it's normal to have. To have, you know, tons of hot flashes, to have tons of weight gain that you can't take off, to have all these other problems. This is not normal. No, 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 no. So my goal is to teach women more about their bodies and tips and things that you can do to take charge of your health, to see and feel the changes that you know you can have. So. I'm actually going to be doing a webinar on Sunday, deep dive into fat burning, burning for menopause, talking about this in detail. So I'll put the link below this video. You can sign up. It's a free webinar. I'm going to go into so much stuff over the next few days. I'll do a little preview so you guys can really get a good glimpse of what it's going to look like. Um, but that is, you know, if you're looking for more answers, if you know somebody that's looking for me an more answers, please enroll for this webinar. If you can't make it live, it's gonna be Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central. If you can't make it live, don't worry about it. There's gonna be a replay, but I'm gonna be talking about fat burning for menopause specifically. I have so many women that struggle with this. I have so many women that have been led down the wrong path or told, um, you just need to cut more calories, blah, blah, blah. You aren't working out hard enough, blah, blah, blah. Pfft. That is not it. it is not because women are not trying it is not because you're not doing things to be healthy it's because you're being given the wrong map for what you're trying to do you're lost in the woods somebody hands you a map and you follow it you have no idea it's the wrong map right I'm gonna talk about the right map for your body for the new body that you have when you go through menopause you get a new body it reacts totally different totally different all the things that you used to do that were successful are not necessarily going to be successful anymore. Mm, what? I know, right? How annoying is that? <laughs> you used to be able to do this program or protocol and it would be great for you and now it's not going to be the same. Why? Because your hormones change and now you have a new body. It's just how it is, right? So this isn't something to really get you know, down about, just know, hey, you have to shift and change things. So here are reasons why women can't get to and stay in fat burning for menopause. And one of them is because our bodies really have a harder time building and maintaining lean muscle. So your body composition just changes. It goes from having this certain amount of lean muscle and women need lean muscle. That's how you burn fat. You have to have muscle to burn fat. Otherwise, it's really stressful for the body. The body goes into a deficit and a depletion. And when our bodies get depleted, they get stressed and that stores fat. But if you're depleting it at all, you're going to store fat. But you need that lean muscle, right? You need the lean muscle. That's what burns fat for women. So for menopause, right? Things shift in your hormones and all of a sudden it's harder to build and maintain that lean muscle. Then what? Naturally, you're just going, your body's going to want to put on and keep extra weight on. So here is a way to battle it. Here's a way to kind of fight against that. The first thing, and I know I talk about this a lot, but it is that important and changes that much for you when you really incorporate it correctly. You're going to increase your protein, right? Get more protein throughout the day. And my favorite way of doing this is through protein pacing 
briefly what this is, is just getting increased amount of protein spaced out throughout the day. I've done a podcast on that. So, um, books and stuff, resources that I've got for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution is on Amazon. You can pick that up. Tons of good content in there. I talk about specific things for menopause in here. Um, I have a YouTube channel, just Dr. Beth Westy, tons of info there. And then I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. And I do have different podcasts. I have multiple podcasts on protein, protein pacing, talking about that. So you can get detailed information there. Also get a deep, detailed information on the webinar on Sunday and you can ask questions live. So if you're like, Hey, how would I do this? Or what about this thing here or there? We'll be going through all of that, but I'll be talking about protein pacing, protein incremented throughout the day to keep you fueled and to help your body maintain and build muscle, build muscle. This is one of the key things for women when you're trying to get in and stay in fat burning mode. And it's one of the number one things that gets missed, honestly. So when your body is deficient, right? You're depleted. It cannot get there and it's too stressful. Now, the other thing to think about too, and this was something I just, I just read this. This was a study that they did between men and women. It, it's just very new. It's very recent that they're doing studies between men and women and women of different ages. And they found that women, even when exercising, regular exercise, like getting on a bike and doing some cycling, Women who were pre-menopause were able to get to and stay in a fat burning zone 33% more than a female that was post-menopause. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is means that, again, you have to a little bit of an uphill battle. And if you're not changing your nutrition, if you're not changing your exercise, if you're not fueling your body and really addressing the different types of stress that you have now, you're missing out and you're, you're just kind of suffering with having your body wanting to store fat. So I'm gonna dive into all these different things in this webinar. So again, sign, I'll put the link below when I'm done with this video. Sign up for the free webinar. I'm gonna deep dive into all of it, but it's really important that women understand, you know, going through menopause and perimenopause too, totally screws things up, right? It's not you that you're doing something wrong, you know? It's just that this is the phase of life and you, your new body. The body that you've lived in for years isn't there anymore. <laughs> it's not there anymore. It's a new body. So it needs more protein to do the same job that it used to do. So if you're still eating healthy, that's great. But if you're not increasing your protein to match with your new body's needs, you're not going to be able to maintain those same old results you used to have. Yes, I know. <laughs> These are just things, again, that women are not told. Like I said, half the population in the world will go through this hormonal change. Uh, <laughs> why don't they talk about this more? I don't know. <laughs> I'm on a mission to sort of change that, but anyway. <clears throat> so number one thing here though, protein, 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 protein pacing, incremented protein, 20 grams, five to six times a day at least, really increases the amount of muscle mass that you have to get to and stay in a fat burning zone as much as possible, as much as possible, right? Like I said, recent study about women doing exercise, cycling, pre-menopause burned naturally more fat than women post-menopause. So it's important that you're addressing this so you can get to and stay in fat burning for women of menopause age. Now, next nutrient component that also women kind of get sucked into here in terms of manipulating and really following some not helpful tips <laughs> is carbs. A lot of women will be like, Oh, I'm going to cut down carbs. I'm going to cut out carbs. Blah, 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 blah. Carbs are evil. Okay. <sighs> carbs are delicious. Let's just get that out of the way first. Let's just, yes. But carbs are also very important for your energy, for your brain function, for your metabolism, for your digestive system. If you cut carbs, even a specific type of carb, you enzymatically lose the ability to properly process that nutrient. Again, this is a new body. So you need to address these nutrients differently to match with that new body to get the most out of it. So with carbs, it's easy to try and cut it down and maybe see a quick short result but in the long term, you're wrecking your metabolism and you're wrecking your body's ability to process 
fed nutrient. So what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? Oh yeah. We want to get even amounts of carbon as well. Even amounts of carb. You need the right amount of carb actually to upload protein. If you're not getting carbon with your protein, you're missing out on absorbing the maximum amount of protein. This is all very, very dynamic in the body and the system, right? Just eating protein alone, you're not gonna get the most available. You gotta have that carb paired with it. That's super important. And you also want a balance of types of carbs, simple carbs versus complex carbs, right? Fruit and sweet potatoes, both. You need both of them. If you just have one or the other, again, it throws things off. In perimenopause and menopause, the female body actually will process and store these sugars differently in the muscles, meaning it's harder for your body to do that. So if you're only getting one or the other, again, you're missing out on this amazing ability that your body has to use this nutrient to your advantage. So you gotta have, you gotta have that balance. Getting the right protein, getting it paced throughout the day, getting your muscle mass to a point where you can burn fat and get there, because it is, it is tougher, right, than it used to be for this new body that you have, and then getting that good balance of carbs. Really, really that getting that good balance of carbs. And I just drew on my finger. <laughs> getting the good balance of carbs and having it be quality carbs. You want quality proteins, quality carbs. And I say quality carbs, right? You're not just looking at... Um, you know, just, you know, quick sugars or things like that, right? But again, fruits, you know, berries, apples, pears, all of that. And you're looking at, you know, sweet potatoes, potatoes, you know, whole grains, all those things, right? You need to have an even balance of nutrients throughout the day of carbs specifically. Again, protein upload, energy source, glycogen stores in your muscle tissue. It's processed differently. So again, I'll be talking about this in detail. So if this is something you want more info on, I'll put that link below. You can sign up for this free webinar. Get this info so that you can understand, hey, whoa, yes, it is not me, right? You're not doing something wrong on purpose. It's just that, again, you've been following the wrong map. You've been following a map for the body you used to have. You don't have that body anymore. Hormones are different. The needs are different. So we're going to deep dive into all of that, what it is, and then how to do it. It's gonna be really fun. I'm really, really excited. I feel like this is a huge topic that is not addressed, that is not talked about, and so many women are stuck and frustrated with trying to get even somewhat of a half result. So we're gonna unpack all of these things on this webinar, deep dive into all of it, and really, I'm gonna show you some really simple, easy things to implement right away that you can start doing these things to get to and stay in a fat-burning mode. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. If you do have questions, don't ever, you know, don't hesitate. Send me an email, message, you know, comment below. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to chat with you if you have some questions about something. But again, I'm going to be going over this in detail on the webinar. Please, if you know somebody that also could use this information, if you have ever, you know, been chatting with a gal who, um, who's been struggling, send them the link as well. Again, it's free. I'm just going to go over a ton of this in detail. And if you guys have questions from there too, we can talk about that. Yes. Oh, yes. Pam says being a woman is so hard. Yes, it is sometimes. Yes. And Melissa says we need more research and help for menopause. Absolutely, we do. Absolutely. Yeah. And so many women, like half the population in the entire world goes through this at some point and it's been happening for thousands and thousands of years and there still aren't the right answers for women to kind of gracefully move through this stage. You've got to be kidding me. <gasps> I'm like, I'm like getting frustrated. I'm going to start sweating soon because I'm getting so frustrated. Ah, so link for the webinar will be below. Let me know if you guys have questions and I will see you later.